there's no greater love that you could ever find than, than to find a kind of love that would be willing to take one's place, to take the place of someone who, who's about to face certain death, who, who's about to face something like really difficult, a major challenge. Like real love is, is to enter, insert yourself on their behalf and take what they're about to experience. And I started thinking that, that really the, the kind of love that, that, that Christ showed the world yeah, it, it was the sacrifice, but what initiated the greatest love the world has ever known was God being willing to send light into darkness. He came to bring light and to shine it into the darkness for one reason, to expose what was dark. God so loved the world, right, that he sent light into darkness, that he loved the world so much, a place where that was filled with darkness and that was separated from the light of God. He loved the world so much and in their sin and in their despair and in their trouble, the God of the universe sent light. There is no greater love than this, that the God of the universe would come close to darkness so that what is dark can have hope. The whole mission of Christ wasn't to bring condemnation, but it was to bring salvation. And how I understand this truth that light doesn't bring condemnation, light brings hope, affects how I receive light in my own life and how I get set free and it affects how I give light away to other people. It affects how much I love them. It affects whether or not you see the greater love of Christ, I can receive that, but I can also release that into other people. But I can't give away something I have not received. God wants you set free. God wants you to walk in the light as he is in the light. There are a lot of people there are a lot of people in our churches and there's a lot of people in our world who walk around day after day and they're dealing with stuff they've been dealing with for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Things that they've always wanted to let go of but they've never had the courage, they've never had the, the, the strength, they've never had the, the resolve, they've never had what it took to just, to just finally let go and get, get over the hump. And every time the light of Christ wanted to shine, Every time the light of Christ wanted to shine into the dark corners of their life, like they started to feel shame and they started to feel guilt and they started to feel condemnation and they started to feel like all the reasons why they were unworthy. When Jesus shines his light, it's to set people free. It's to light up the darkness so you don't have to live like that anymore. So you can walk in your greatness. The greatness that God designed you for, destined you for, the greatness that he built you for. So many people never experience the greatness of God's plan on their life because so many of them still walk in darkness.